Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's outlook, firstly, very quickly, with Asian markets, they advanced on Thursday, bolstered by overnight rises in oil prices. Japan's benchmark Nikkei 225 index closed up about half a percent, or 79.86 points at 16.899. The yen, of course, continued to weaken against the dollar, as the latest data from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission showed that the yen net long positions rose to a five-month peak of 68,892 contracts in the week ended September 27. In the aftermath, which happened of the Japan's decision last month to target Japanese government bonds' long-term yields. The dollar uh, took a bit of a breather from its overnight run-up against the Japanese counterpart and it was uh, around levels of 103.42 yen, down about one-tenth of a percent but not far from a four-week high of 103.67 yen, touched on Wednesday. European stocks were mixed in morning trade on Thursday as the pan-European stocks economy index was about one-tenth of a percent with the sectors pointing in different directions. Tracking the uh, exchange rate between the euro and the US dollar, it was steady around 1.1201, supported by higher European bond yields on concerns that the European Central Bank might taper the pace of bond buying before its asset purchase program ends. However, this is still a speculation and remains high, highly doubtful. The dollar stuck to near, near uh, narrow range against its major rivals in Asian trade on Thursday ahead of the week's non-farm payrolls report that of course could reinforce expectations that the US Federal Reserve will hike interest rates by December. Sterling plummeted three tenths of a percent to 1.2715 after falling as low as 1.2686 on Wednesday, its weakest in more than three decades on the fears of the impact and how big that impact could be of the Britain's impending exit from the European Union. Gold in the commodity sector were looking at the prices they continued to slid also on Thursday as the dollar firmed and equities rose ahead of the Friday's non-farm payroll report that should boost the expectations of US interest rate hike that should push investors to exit their bullion holdings. We're looking at uh, another one tenth of a percent drop in gold prices at 12.6490 an ounce in late Asian trade. But of course, it touched a fresh low of 12.61.59 in the previous session. That was its lowest level since June 24. Friday's uh, unemployment and employment uh, report is expected to show about 175,000 jobs were added in the month, according to the median estimates. Of course, that's also, a, a positive job report may provide more evidence to the US Federal Reserve and the decision to raise interest rates in December. Gold, as we know it, is a highly sensitive commodity to rising rates, which of course lifts the opportunity cost for holding non-yield assets. All futures also dipped slightly on Thursday after Saudi Arabia trimmed the prices of its flagship crude to Asia. But of course, they were still near more than three-month highs following a drop in US crude inventories. We're looking at the West Texas Intermediate crude futures as they were trading at $49.55 per barrel, down about 28 cents or about six tenths of a percent from their last settlement. Let's take a look briefly at the numbers from the US Energy Information Administration with the report that was from yesterday. They said that crude, uh, fell, uh, crude stocks fell about 3 million barrels last week to 499.74 million barrels, despite the drawdown, stocks were still close to all-time highs. That's all about the most important news of today. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.